Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in Rust answers, which is this one, which says how to set the start position of robot within AMCL, but before that Remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to Academy on the video description. Now let's start with the video itself. So let's see what this question uh, is asking. He says, hi, I'm working with a mobile robot. Every time I start, I start it, I have to start at the same point, the point which is the origin in the map server map config file but I want to save the last position of the base link to a file. For example, no problem with that, uh, to a file for, okay. When I shoot down the system to let him know at restarting where it was, is there any way to set a default value for transfer between two frames with TF2? Okay, well, yeah, here he's uh, talking about TFs, but this, uh, this is not related to TFs really, but to AMCL and AMCL configuration. And here he has a, an answer, which is, uh, quite complete. He's talking about the initial post parameter, initial post X, Y, and A. Uh, and I wanted to show, to, to introduce another variable, which is very useful for this specific case. So yeah, for that, let's, let's build an example. I'm going to use uh, RDS as always. And I'm going to use a project I was working these last days, where I have a simulation with the navigation stack prepared already, so that I don't need to to create everything from zero. So yeah, let's wait a few seconds until the environment fully loads. There we are, excellent. So let's close the Jupyter Notebook, we don't need it now. Let's open a shell, let's open an IDE as well to visualize our files. Uh, yeah, so as you can see here in my Kakin workspace, I have uh, some packages and here I have one file in order to start uh, localization using AMCL. Here I have it. So I'm going to open it because we are going to be working with this. And yeah, let me open also a simulation. We are going to be using the Summit Excel robot in this case. And yeah, let me set this to XML so that it's easier to understand. There we have it. And I will also need, let me open RVs in a new window. There we go. In order to visualize the process and everything. There we go. Okay. Now here I can start RBs, for instance. Let me open another shell. Okay, so the simulation has loaded. Well, it is still finishing here, almost done. There we have it. Great. So here we have our Summit Excel robot. Let's configure RBs very quickly in order to visualize localization. If I don't remember wrong, I think I have somewhere here a, a configuration file for localization. No. Okay, well, then let me just add everything very quickly. I will use a robot model, a map, here, and a push array. There we are. Now I have some errors because of uh, AMC are not being launched. So let's launch it, let's start it. Ross launch. And start AMCL localization. There we are. Here we have AMCL. Okay, so let's now configure here the map 
to visualize the map, there we have it, and the pose array to the particle cloud topic. There we have it, so there we have our robot localized in here. And yeah, let me open a couple of other shells to visualize more things. Okay, so let's first of all have a look at the parameters. So let's do a rosparam get wait MCL. Okay, so these are all the parameters that are being loaded by the AMCL node. And here we have all the initials. Yeah, we have the initial covariances and the poses. Here we have them. And we can check these values, for instance, rosparam get. Sorry, it's AMCL initial pose X, for instance and initial pose y. So these are the initial positions, as you can see they are zero. So it's initialized to zero, which makes sense because if we have a look here at our at our initial poses, they are set to zero. Yeah. So this makes sense. And okay, so let's just start moving a little bit the robot. Let me launch here a keyboard controller. There we are. So I'm going to move a little bit the robot. Let's move it forward. This is basically to check how those parameters change. Yeah. Let's move it. Okay, I think here it's good enough. So let's visualize now again these two parameters. So as you can see, the x has gone to 2.1, and uh, as well, the e has increased from 0 to minus 0 0.3 negative. Yeah. So, okay, so obviously, we can see that with these variables, we can get the current position of the robot. So the the yeah the, the the pose of the robot yeah but what happens now let me close everything well let me very quickly save this config here so that I can load it uh, faster let's save it as AMCL okay so as you can see as well in RVs, my position is is updated. It's now here. It's not here at the start anymore. But what happens if I now stop everything and uh, start again? So I'm going to launch again AMCL. Let's start again RVs. And let's see what's going on. I'm going to now load my configuration. There we have it. Okay, so as you can see, the robot has uh, went back to his initial state, yeah? To the zero, zero pose. But in the simulation, the robot is not there anymore. Yeah? Oh, well, yeah, this is an RV's error, no, uh, it doesn't matter. So in the, in the simulation, my robot is not here in the initial position anymore, it's here. But in AMCL, the position has been updated to the initial position. And also, if I check here my parameters, X and Y, they are back again to zero, 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 as you can see. So they are not uh, any more uh, updated with the simulation, as you can see, because this is not this is this pose of the robot now 
is this one, 2.1 and minus 0 0.3, not this one, yeah? So, uh, so why this is happening? Well, basically this is because we have here in the AMCL node some parameters, which are these ones, that are being uh, set to 0 on on this node in iterization. So when, when we launch the AMCL node, yeah, we are setting the initial poses to 0, yeah? So we are resetting the poses to 0. And can we change that? Yeah, we can change this very easily with one parameter. Let's go to the AMCL documentation. So here in the parameters, here we have them. We can see all the initial poses, for instance. But there is a parameter which is this one, the safe, the safe pose rate, which basically what does is to says maximum rate at which to store the last estimated pose and covariance to the parameter server. Yeah? So basically what this parameter does is to check the pose, the last pose of the robot and save it into the parameter server. Yes, that's why when we started here moving the robot, the pose was being saved into these, into these uh, parameters. Yeah? Then, probably you already know, but what can we do in order to modify this behavior? Okay, let's try one thing. Let's stop the simulation. Let's just start, stop everything again. Let's relaunch our Vs. Let's just stop as well our AMCL node. And let's just start again our simulation. There we go. Yeah, this is not localizing the master because I have stopped the simulation. There we go. So I'm restarting the simulation again. Let me load here again the AMCL configuration. There we go, let's see. Here we have it. Okay, so here we have AMCL configuration. And let's here launch again the AMCL localization. We have the simulation loaded as well. Great. So now we have our localization again at 0, 0, which, which is okay because I have started the simulation from 0. Now uh, let's move a little bit again the robot. So now if we check these variables, they will be at 0, as you can see. Now we are going to move a little bit again the robot. forward and to the right, there we have it. Okay, so let's just stop it here. And now, as you can see, if we check our initial posts, they are properly updated to 2.2 and minus 0 0.3, yeah? So this, this is being done by this uh, parameter here, the save post rate. This is saving the last estimated post to the parameter server, to the initial pose and initial covariance, yeah? Now, well, now you can do many things. Now I'm going to restart this, but for instance, you can do, if you are, uh, uh, he also said that he wants to store into a file, or for instance, now you can here, with this last pose before restarting, you can do a rosparam dump to, well, let me do it to here so that we can visualize the file. So you can do a rosparam dump to amcl.yalm and uh, you can select, for instance, the amcl names, namespace and this will generate a file called amcl.yalm. Here you have it with all the amcl uh, parameters. For instance, we have here the initial pose x, initial pose y, yeah? Uh, but you can do it with code. Well, that's up to you. There are many ways to do this. 
you can then later as well load these parameters doing a ROSPARAM load, whatever. But what I want to do now is let's stop RVs one more time and let's stop AMCL. So now that I have stopped AMCL, my parameters are still there, as you can see, yeah? Then now, if I come here to my, to my AMCL launch file, let me comment these parameters. So this, this that is being set to zero, I am commented, commenting it, and now I'm going to uh, launch again everything. So let me launch again RVs. There we go. And I'm going to start one more time AMCL. And let's see what happens now. If we come here to RVs. There it goes. So as you can see now, my position is not set to zero, but it still has the last position the robot had when I stopped AMCL, yeah? And if, if we come here to the parameters, we can check them again. They have not been set to zero, yeah? They have been... Uh, there, there's a little, a little bit of difference, this is normal because localization, localization is not exact. But, as you can see, this is, uh, the parameters have not been set to zero. So in this case, you have uh, kept the last, the last pose of the robot, yeah? Uh, so yeah, this is a way in which you can do handle this in, in for instance, you could come here and set a parameter let's say arc name <clears throat> I don't know mm. set init to zero for instance you set a default for this to true, for instance. And now you can come here to this last section and all these parameters, load them de depending of, on the value of that variable. If arc set init to zero, for instance. Now let me copy this on all the parameters. So now, for instance, if you set this set init to zero argument to true, these parameters will be loaded. If you set this to false, these parameters will not be uh, called, will not be loaded, so you will still have the last pose you had when you closed AMCL. So for instance, this is a way you could handle this uh, very easily. So yeah, that's all for the video. I hope you have liked it, you have learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, a thumbs up, and remember to subscribe to our channel. We are publishing videos, ROS videos, almost every day. And yeah, either you like the video or not, remember to leave your thoughts, comments, any suggestion on the comments area below. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.